Solubility test for cycling hemoglobins. Deoxygenated hemoglobin S is insoluble in the presence of a concentrated phosphate buffer solution and forms a turbid suspension that can be easily visualized using a solubility reading card. Normal hemoglobin remains in the solution under these conditions. These two different qualitative outcomes allow for the detection of sickle cell disease and its traits. The solubility test uses saponin to lyse the red blood cells. Sodium hydrosulfite then reduces the released hemoglobin. Reduced hemoglobin S is insoluble in the concentrated phosphate buffer and forms a cloudy turbid suspension. Other cycling hemoglobin subtypes may also give a positive result, while normal hemoglobin will become clear. For this procedure, you will need 12 by 75 tubes, a timing device, a mechanical pipette, solubility buffer and reagent powder, solubility reading card. Prepare the buffer solution by adding the reagent powder to the solution buffer. Swirl to mix and allow it to sit. Add 2 milliliters of the solution buffer to properly labeled tubes. Add 20 microliters of the patient sample or control to the properly labeled tubes. Cover the tube with parafilm and mix gently by inversion. Allow the tube to stand at room temperature for 6 minutes. A positive result will have a cloudy solution through which the black lines are not visible. A negative result will have a transparent solution through which the black lines are visible.